number 3 seed and last year's Wuhan champion Arena Sabalenka came back from one set down to edge Ukrainian qualifier Katerina Kislova 3-6-6-3-6-3 in just under two hours reaching the third round at the Volvo Car Open in Charleston. Sabalenka set up a round of 16 clash against 2016 Olympic singles champion Monica Puig, who beat Sofia Kennan 6-4-6-4. Kuzlova got an early break at 1-2-1 with a drop shot and saved the break point in the fourth game to take a 3-1 lead. The Ukrainian player went up a double break and loved to race out to a 4-1 lead. Sabalenka pulled back one break back with a drop shot winner, when she was trailing 2-5, but she dropped her serve again to lose the first set 6-3. Kuzlova went up a set and a break in the second game of the second set to take a 2-0 lead. Sabalenka got back on serve with a break in the third game at 2-1. Sabalenka broke again with a forehand winner to take a 3-2 lead and consolidated with a hold for 4-2 after saving a break point to build up a 5-3 lead. Sabalenka earned three set points, as Kozlova was serving to stay in the set. The Belarusian player broke serve at love with a forehand service return winner to force the match to the third set. After a trade a break at the start of the third set Sabalenka got a break in the fourth game to open up a 3-2-1 lead. She fended off a break point to hold serve for 4-1 before breaking serve to race out to a 5-1 lead. Kuzlova pulled a break back to claw her way back to 3-5, as Sabalenka was serving for the match. Sabalenka converted her second match point in the ninth game to secure her spot in the third round. Former Roland Garros champion and Charleston finalist Yelena Ostapenko came back from a match point down to edge Charleston native Shelby Rogers 4 6 6 3 7 6 7 to 4 after two and a half hours. Rogers has made comeback in her home tournament after being sidelined by a serious knee injury. Ostapenko will take on either Tatiana Maria or former Charleston finalist Madison Keys. Rogers got an early break in the first game with return winner. The U.S. player saved a break point in a second game with a backhand winner to hold serve for 2-0. Ostapenko saved two barrack points to hold a tough service game for 2-1 before breaking serve at love for 2-2. Ostapenko held serve with her forehand to take a 3-2 edge but Rogers got another break to take a 4-3 lead. The U.S. player wasted two set points, as she was serving for the set at 5-4. Ostapenko hit a backhand to earn a break point, but she missed her chance with an unforced error. After a trade of breaks Ostapenko earned AA break point with a backhand down the line winner and converted her chance with a forehand cross-court winner. Ostapenko fended off a set point to hold serve for 5-2 and earned a chance to close out the set at 5-3. Ospenko brought up two set points with a forehand winner. Rogers fended off the first set point with a forehand cross-court return winner before Ostapenko converted her second chance with a forehand into the corner. Rogers saved two break points in the first game of the third set to hold serve for 1-0. Rogers broke serve in the second game and held serve for 3-0. The home player broke twice to race out to a 5-1 lead. Ostapenko pulled one break back in the seventh game for 5-2. Rogers earned a match point but Ostapenko saved it to hold serve for 5-3 when the U.S. player sent her return into the net. Ostapenko got two consecutive breaks to reel off five consecutive games earning a chance to serve for the set at 6-5 but she dropped her serve setting up a tie break. The tie break was marked by seven mini breaks. Ostapenko was the first to hold serve to take a 5-4 lead with a backhand down the line winner. The Latvian player hit a forehand winner to win another point on serve earning two match points at 6-4. Ostapenko sealed the win on her first match point with a backhand cross-court winner.
two-time finalist and three-time Grand Slam champion Angelique Kerber edged past Slovakia's Kristina Kukova 7-6, 7-4, 6-2 after 91 minutes at Abierto GNP Seguros in Monterrey. Angelique Kerber, who reached the final in Monterrey in 2013 and 2017, went up a double break to open up a 3-0 lead. Kukova pulled both breaks back in the 4th and 8th games to draw level to 4-4. Kerber got the 3rd break of the opening set to take a 6-5 lead earning a chance to serve for the first set at 6-5. Kukova broke straight back in the 12th game to set up a tie break. Both players traded breaks in the 2nd and 3rd games of the 2nd set. Kukova saved two break points in the fourth game, but Kerber broke serve twice in a row in the sixth and eighth games to seal the second set 6-2. Kerber scored her third consecutive win against Kukova and won her second match against her Slovakian opponent at this tournament. Kerber hit 30 winners to 28 on forced errors, compared to Kukova's 19-30 ratio. Kukova dropped serve six times and hit four double faults. Kerber set up a second-round match against Karolina Muchova, who battled past Shush Island 6-4-5-7-6-3. In their recent head-to-head -head clash at the Miami Open Kerber came back from one set down to beat Muchova 3-6-6-3-6-3. I was expecting a tough match because I have played her many times already. She is a tough opponent. I was trying to play a good match, play aggressive. I am so happy to be back here in Monterey. I am feeling like home here. It's great to have a good first round. I was twice here in the final, really close, AMD I will try and every single match that the best that I can play, said Kerber. Defending champion Garbine Muguruza fought back from a double breakdown in the first, and went down a break twice in the second set at 4-3 and 5-4 in her 6-4, 7-6-7-4, win over lucky loser Elena Gabriela Ruz. Muguruza came back from 1-4 down by winning the final five games to edge past Ruz 6-4 in the opening set. The Spaniard fended off three set points in the second set before racing out to a 5-0 lead in the tiebreak of the second set. The two-time Grand Slam champion held off a late fight back from Ruz in the tiebreak and needed three match points to close out the second set. It was a tough match for the first round. It was very late. It's cold. With all the conditions I just had to fight and never lose the hope, said Muguruza. Victoria Zarenka eased past Japanese qualifier Miu Kato 6 4 6 2 after 1 hour and 14 minutes in their first head to head match. Azarenka converted 4 of her 7 break points, while Kato earned just 1 break point. Azarenka won 80% of her first serve points. Azarenka earned an early break in the opening game, but the Japanese player broke back in the fourth game to draw level to 2 2 when Azarenka misfired her forehand. Azarenka broke serve again in the fifth game to take a 3-2 lead and held on her service games through to 5-3. Belarusian player earned three set points, as she was serving for the first set. Kato saved the first chance with a cross-court backhand, but Azarenka closed out the set on her second chance, when Kato hit her backhand into the net court. Azarenka earned an early break at 1-1 on her fourth chance and earned a double break with cross-court backhand to race out to a 4-1 lead. Azarenka hit a backhand winner earning her first match point, as she was serving for the match at 5-2 and converted her chance to claim a straight set win. Azarenka will take on Zarina Diaz, who beat Mexican wildcard Renata Zarazua 7-5-6-4. The American is bidding to win her first title in over a year this week. Sloane Stevens, photo by Chrysleen Kayo, copyright at Sport Vision. Former U.S. Open champion Sloane Stevens endured a difficult start to her 2019 clay season at the Volvo Car Open in Charleston on Tuesday. The world number eight required more than two and a half hours to edge her way past Spain's Sarah Sari Bay's Tormo 7-6-4-7-6-4. Battling back from a 2-5 deficit in the first set, Stevens dropped serve six times throughout the match, hitting a total of 55 and forced errors to only 27 winners.
Obviously, I was a little up and down emotionally, Stevens told reporters afterwards. But I just tried to stay with it the best I could and just kind of fight my way through the ups and downs. A former champion of the event back in 2016, Stevens is hoping for a strong run after suffering a series of disappointing results. In her past three tournaments, the American has failed to win back-to-back -back matches. Winning three out of six matches since the Australian Open, including her latest win over Sari Bay's Tormo. A player who she describes as having a unique playing style. Sari Bay's Tormo doesn't play like most of the girls play. WTA Tennis.com quoted the American as saying, She hits a lot of slices. She runs around a lot, stays around the baseline. Just plays kind of a different game style than most. She hits a lot of moon balls. She just has a lot of different variations, so it's tricky to play against her. All in all the court was playing a little bit slow because it rained last night, she continued. It was a little sticky, and like I said, a lot of different factors, but I was happy to get through, bidding to win her first WTA trophy on the clay in three years. Stevens will take on either Tamara Zidonsik or Ila Tomljanovic in the third round. Should she win, the 26-year-old will reach her first quarterfinal since the U.S. Open in September. Elsewhere in Charleston, defending champion Kiki Burton's enjoyed a more straightforward route into the last 16. The second seed thrashed Italy's Martina Trevis in 6-2, 6-1, in just under an hour. Converting 6 out of her 7 breakpoint opportunities and winning 80% of her first service points. Burton's has won 8 WTA titles so far in her career, with 5 of those occurring on the clay. It's always tough for the first match on clay, Burton said after the match. In the beginning, I was searching for the rhythm and not putting too much on the ball. From there, I started playing a little bit more aggressive, and in the end, I was happy with my game. Australian Open semi-finalist Danielle Collins also enjoyed a one-sided win. Brushing aside former top 40 player Madison Bringle 6-3, 6-1. She will next play Spain's Eliona Bolsovizadoinov. Belgium's Kirsten Flipkens eased past Russian 18-year-old Olga Danilovic 6-2-6-1 in just 58 minutes to advance to the second round at the ATP GNP SIG Euros in Monterey. World number 58 and former Wimbledon semi-finalist Kirsten Flipkens won 80% of her first serve points, hit seven aces and never faced a break point. Lipkins earned the first break in the sixth game when a forehand pass to take a 4-2 lead and consolidated the break by holding serve for 5-2. The Belgian player earned two set points and closed out the opening set with a forehand winner. Danilovic fended off four break points in her first service game of the second set. Lipkins got an early break with her forehand to open up a 3-2-1 lead. She hit an ace on game point to consolidate the break for 4-1 before breaking serve with a volley in the sixth game for 5-1. She converted the first of her second break point to seal the win in the seventh game. Two former world number one players Garbinier Muguruza and Angelique Kerber lead the main draw in Monterey. Kerber will open her campaign against a qualifier. Muguruza will face Heather Watson. The Mexican tournament also features another former world number one Victoria Azarenka, who will take on Great Britain's Katie Bolter, Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova and Alison Riske.